We have a great new team site. It's really made a difference for us, having an easy way to handle all the collaboration we do. But we're going to hire two new employees, and all the information about that hiring process is different from the information we now have on the team site. For one thing, everyone in Karen's business unit can use our team site, but applicant resumes have personal information that we need to protect. With Office 365, we don't need any special help from IT to do what we need. We can simply create a new subsite on our team site and set it up the way we want. When you create a new site, SharePoint shows you several site templates that can save a lot of time. Our team uses the team site template. For the Fabricam Human Resources site, however, I can just use the Express site template as we don't need a lot of features and we do want to get the site up quickly. I'll name the new site Fabricam Human Resources. SharePoint fills in the site URL information for me. So here's our new site. I've added some introductory text and useful links to other pages and a couple of document libraries. I also added a site user's web part to the page. This is an easy way to display a list of site users and their online status. Now, I want to add another library for the candidate review forms that we use. It's important to have a separate, more secure location for these kinds of documents. It's easy to add another library. I can just use the Site Actions menu. This opens a gallery of all kinds of options. I want to create a library, so I'll filter by library. The icons show what kinds of materials each library is designed to store. The candidate reviews are documents, so I'll pick that and name the library Candidate Reviews. More options lets me add some features to the library. SharePoint automatically adds a link to a new library in the Quick Launch, so I'll keep that. The candidate reviews are very important, and I want to be able to track who has been working with them. I'll select this option to create version history. Finally, I'll just accept the default document template. If someone creates a new item in the library, Word will open automatically. Here's our new library ready for adding documents. The ribbon has commands that we'll need to upload a document, create a new one, or to create a folder. We just created a new site and then added libraries to the site. Now let's create permissions for the site. The Human Resources site needs to provide access to only certain people. I can change permissions on the Site Settings page. When you create a new site, it automatically inherits site permissions from its parent site. It also inherits user groups from the parent site. So the first thing we need to do is stop the inheritance so that permission changes that we make can be successfully applied. When I look at the Owners group, I see that a lot of people currently have permissions to the HR site. We need to change this. And the first thing we need to do is create a new SharePoint group for the hiring process. Having a SharePoint group for this process will make it much easier to manage. I'm going to name the group Human Resources. If the committee membership changes in the future, all I need to do is make changes to this group. SharePoint automatically navigates to a page where I can add the group members. I'll add the people whom I want to have access to the Human Resources hiring site. Now I want to set permissions for the group, so I'll return to the Site Permissions page. We want unique permissions restricted to just the people on the hiring committee, so we'll remove these groups. Before we do that, though, I want to make sure that the hiring site has a user with full control. This is extremely important because it ensures that we can have access to the hiring site while we're working on it and can always control the site settings. In this case, Karen Berg already has full control, so now it's safe to remove the existing groups. Next, I'll just grant permissions to the Human Resources group. We don't need to add users to a group, so I'll check Grant Users Permission directly. I want the Human Resources group to have Contribute permissions. So now, only the people who are authorized can access the Human Resources site. The list of users that have permission to the site is much shorter than it was before. Now let's say I'd like to show our new site to one of the other committee members. I'll open link to see if Manuel is available. The green tells me that he is available. Let's find out what Manuel thinks of our new site. To show Manuel the new site, I'll share my desktop. Manuel thinks the new site is great, but he does have a couple of suggestions. Karen thanks Manuel for his feedback and later makes the changes that he suggests. So we've done quite a bit in a short amount of time. We've added a new site, some new libraries, and then restricted access to our new site so that only authorized people can access it. 
If Manuel's feedback is any indication, the site will be a real help to our process.